we are now living amongst the dinosaurs, John. And I had to tune in. I, I, was, a li- I was a little bit leery because I fell asleep during the second film that came out right before this one. <laughs> but I had to check out Dominion because in this film, to close out the series as well, uh, we're bringing back Sam Neill, Laura Dern, Jeff Goldblum, who were some of the original stars from the first batch of films that we got way back when. And it kind of strikes those feels, emotional feels. Uh, we get a lot of that love. We get some certain classic moments revisited, but with you know the way technology is now, we get to see it a lot sleeker, a lot cooler. Um, it's a great film to close out uh, this, I would say, six set of films because we had the first three, we had these new three, and they're uh, supposedly closing it out here, but there is some tidbits that might let this dinosaur franchise continue. Uh, if you're if you've been a longtime fan, this gives you all of that love, and also has a nod to Camp Cretaceous. If you're a fan of the Jurassic Park animated spinoff that is on Netflix, so there's a lot of tidbits there. There's a lot of mixed reviews on this. If you are a Jurassic Park fan, however, I will say you're gonna absolutely love this. So go check it out. All right, there's a new mini series coming to Disney Plus, a superhero one. Tell us about it. Yes, Miss Marvel debuted this weekend. It's a six uh, episode series. And then we'll find this new Miss Marvel character spinning off into uh, the cinematic universe in theaters. Uh, Miss Marvel, played by Amon Vellani, brand new star, so amazing. She totally inhabits this character of this young Pakistani girl who finds this bracelet and then discovers that she has these superpowers. Uh, it's a coming of age story. It's shot so amazingly well. Um, there, there's a lot of animated themes to it. Uh, if you enjoyed Spider-Man No Way Home or Spider-Man Far From Home, just a lot of that kind of artsy style that's incorporated a lot of amazing shots. Um, and really, the, the heart of family and having amazing friends. So this has a great ensemble cast. Really engulfs you into the story. You really feel endeared into this. And you can relate with it. And it's so good. And with it being such a representational film for uh, Islam, uh, Islamic Americans, Pakistanis, uh, it's going to educate you on a whole new culture. And that is the power of film. And also, if you just love superheroes in general, this is one for you. You can totally feel this. That's Kuya P of Nerds Rule the World on Skype. <laughs> Oh, my God. 